Jackson, your question has to do with how is uh, taking the roof off different than reductio ad absurdum. Uh, in the chapter on taking the roof off, I, I make the point that they're very, very similar. What I'm trying to do with taking the roof off is employ the reductio ad absurdum approach that many people, especially philosophers, have used in the past. Uh, this, simply put, is taking a person's point of view as true for the sake of discussion and see if you follow it out logically, it leads to an absurd conclusion. If it, absurd, it leads logically to an absurd conclusion, well, then there must be something wrong with the way you started out. Um, this is like 90% of the um, activity, in a sense, of the taking the roof off tactic. I name it this way because this is a name that was chosen by Francis Schaeffer because it actually serves the reductio way of approaching things, serve an additional purpose. And Dr. Schaefer's view, and I think he was dead on here, and this has been a tremendous help to me, uh, not only in a sense dealing with the modern mind to which he wrote, uh, but also dealing with postmoderns. And I think Schaefer was very prescient in anticipating the demands or challenges of the postmodern mind in this regard. He said, look, if we're right about our view, then um, God actually exists, and the world is as God has created it, and uh, everybody has made the image of God. And if they then deny any of those things, then they are essentially denying reality. But we can't get away from reality. We have to live in reality. So when people deny reality and live in reality, there's always going to be a tension. Schaefer called it the point of tension. The place where their worldview doesn't match up with the way they know reality to be. We use this in relativism all the time. Uh, nobody's a moral relativist, ultimately. People say they're relativists, that's their worldview, but then they say something like, well, you're wrong for pushing your morality on me. Well, if there's no morality, you can't be wrong for pushing anything or doing anything. There is no wrong. But they must say that you're wrong in some things because they live in God's world, they're made as moral creatures, and they can't not speak in moral terms. So there's a point of tension. So what we want to show them is that their view is absurd, that if there is no morality, then uh, I have no obligation not to push anything on somebody else that I, that I can get away with. And if there is no morality, then there is no evil in the world. And if there is no morality, then I can torture babies for fun. Uh, or, or there's a host of other examples that are serious violations and offenses to that person's moral intuition. He knows better. Now, the taking the roof off aspect of it for Schaefer is to use the reductio ad absurdum kind of argument to demonstrate that people are cheating, that they really know better, that they understand the foundational truths of the Christian worldview. They're built in so powerfully into their psyche, if you will, that they can't avoid them even when they try. As one person put it, they got to sit in God's lap to slap them in the face. In other words, they are dependent upon the Christian worldview even to have the tools to deny the legitimacy of the Christian worldview. So they're playing a game. They have rationalized. They have protected themselves with this foolish rational game that if carried to, la to its logical conclusion turns out to be ridiculous. So we take the roof off. We expose them to the foolishness of their view. And so in a sense, this tactic is reductio extended to a, a much more a powerful purpose, I think, based on what we understand God says about the nature of the world and of every human being.